Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus.
reloaded the load. He must have more trains. And he's operating... You're paranoid, Juan. You see conspiracies everywhere. I know you're going to Veronica. But if Matt is shooting the moon yet again, if he attacks the dam, Williams will force the chemicals to burst from the ground. You realize that? It will kill everything and everyone. You, me, Veronica Ryan, and your beloved sister as well. You understand? Help me. If I agree, what would I do? We don't have any antennas in old Villador. That's why Matt disappeared from the radar. But there is one on the chimney at the electrical substation. Adjust it to the right frequency, and we'll find the place from which the attack will launch. Leave the rest to me. Okay. I'll see. Aiden, this is a matter of life and death. Don't let me down.
Okay, the antenna's working. Ah, oh, thank God. I knew you'd smarten up. Wait a sec. I was right. The signal is weak, but I can clearly see it's coming from somewhere. Can you go and check this place out? Sure, just a leisurely stroll, really. Should I know? He said he has to be careful because the butcher. Fucking renegade. He's late. If you only knew, Gadjo, my marker's gonna die any second sitting in this shithole. Luckily, you got a shit ton of UV lamps now. 
<laughs> I work hard for them. Where is that fucker? Jack's getting impatient. Brew him some fucking chamomile. Juan, Dan Yours here. I saw him earlier at the Peacekeeper's HQ. They're talking about the, some kind of transaction. Apparently William's man is supposed to meet them. Son of a gun. Don't lose the maiden. So, Matt's got an in with the renegades? It seems that way. And that inn will be here any minute. The lamps went to the middleman. You have to attend that meeting, Aiden. Don't lose them. Listen to what they say. It's damned important. <laughs> You're finally here. <sighs> Fucking agents. That was fucked. First, one of the guards stops me, asks me where I'm going, so I tell his dumb ass I'm going to see my girl. <laughs> then he gives me this, like, right that look and says, Hey, haven't you heard that someone's killing our men in the camps? <laughs> our best officers. So then I'm thinking, Oh man, I'm staying put. Then a sec later I hear, Nobody would want to kill you. <laughs> Go wherever you want. Okay. So let's take a look at the lamps. <laughs> Alrighty, my friend. So now talk. When's the transport to the dam heading out? When, when, um... Oh, so like, when I get the signal. When I get the signal. Does Matt pay you for shitty information like that? Told you, command doesn't tell me shit. I'm just a driver. <sighs> Fine. Inform us when you start to move out. Then we'll pack the surprise inside. One. Seems there's gonna be some kind of transport to the Colonel. The PK are gonna plant something in it. Shit. They're gonna send him a bomb or something? Fuck! Huh? Who's there? Uh, hello? Damn, he heard me. Chase him down! Fuck me! He cannot get away, is that clear?
Who the hell are you? Whoa, peace, brother. Peace and forgiveness. I just drive stuff. The Butcher sent you? Colonel Butcher, yeah. <laughs> but I like peacekeepers and bizarre dudes <laughs> and nomads. I like everybody, really. But you too, man. <laughs> I love you. Hey, Juan. I got him. Some joker named Steve. What should I do? <laughs> Steve. I know him. Len Roach would sell his own mother. Don't kill him. We can make a deal with the worm. Hey! Who you call it a worm? Push him. Ask what he's doing for Matt. First, he'll tell me what I want to know. Waltz, where is he? I, I don't know. I avoid that psycho like toxic waste. Won't get within ten feet of his quarters. So he's in the Colonel's stronghold. Yeah, yeah, he's got his own rooms. Probably a lab for doing some weird shit. Jabbing renegades with monster serum and whatnot. Uh, I'd rather sleep in virals than go in there, man. What are you supposed to bring to the stronghold? You think I know? I don't, man. They don't tell me shit, man. And if they do, I forget it anyway. Got memory troubles? Told you, I'm just a driver. That's all I remember. What is your deal with Matt? You mean you... You're not with the PK? Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, so I'll tell Matt. I'll tell him you were asking questions. You're fucked. <laughs> and I'll tell the Colonel you do deals with the peacekeepers. Great idea. Um, um, uh, you won't do that, will you? <laughs> oh, I'm fucked either way, aren't I? Finally got something right. Oh, okay, fine. Matt wanted a lift. I mean, was supposed to drive him. His men. To William Stronghold. That's all. Matt promised me asylum. Asylum and crystals. If you throw in some weed, we're even, bro. And nobody's the wiser. You dig? What about I don't give you shit or kill you, and you keep your mouth shut, okay? Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> You're all right, man. I knew pilgrims would be cool. Now fuck off. Hey, Juan. Steve told me what he knew. Wait. Not over the radio. Let's meet at the fish eye. When? As soon as you can make it. I'm here waiting for you.
straight lately. Maybe you just ain't back clams. in the air. You know Matt's deal yet? Yeah, pretty much. Although Steve could barely remember his name. Jack's plan is simple. He wants to use the transport to get his men inside the stronghold. Just as I thought. He plans to take the dam before Williams can shut the floodgates and drown the city. But, yeah, you mentioned that, but you meant open the floodgates and drown the city, right? I meant what I said. When he shuts the gates, groundwater levels will rise. And with it, all the chemical shit soaked in the ground. We're gonna be like Venice, if Venice was a damp, toxic, plague-infested hell. Anyway, Matt seems ready to take the risk to get into the stronghold and take the dam before the shit hits the fan. The Trojan horse. Makes sense. It's Russian roulette, Aiden. And at least five chambers contain bullets. One wrong move and we're all dead. All right, so what's your plan? There are people in the Peacekeepers who think logically. And they know that to take the stronghold, Matt's willing to drag us all to the grave. We'll present the evidence about what Matt is doing now, 
and what he did 11 years ago, when he killed half the city. What are you trying to say? Matt's not a psychopath. Matt is far worse than a psychopath, Aiden. He's dangerously ambitious. Before the fall, he climbed the ranks of the military hierarchy with lightning speed. Until he ran into Williams. He made sure Matt never got another promotion. Cock blocked him from the chain of command. Until finally, the order came to rain chemicals onto the city. That's when the shit really hit the fan. What? Matt has something to do with the chemical attack? Matt later claimed he was given no warning by Williams. And that's why there was no evacuation. His own squad was caught in the field. Except some soldiers claimed Matt did get the order to evacuate, but ignored it. Instead, so those soldiers said, Matt stationed his troops where he'd survived the attack. The result was 300 dead soldiers. Five times as many civilians. And Matt found himself hailed as the man who stuck with the residents to the very last. So, Jack's responsible for all those deaths? Hundreds killed, thousands maimed. Quite the burden to carry on one person's back, isn't it? So what does he do if it gets too heavy? Tosses it off, onto someone else, and calls him the Butcher. Matt hates Williams. And the truth about himself. And now, with the renegade incursions into the center, Matt finally has a pretext to attack Williams. He gambled the lives of the city once to achieve glory. And he's about to do it again. What's your plan? I've tracked down one of the renegade officers. One who knows the truth. The truth? He was in Matt's squad that day. He saw Matt receive the order to evacuate. We need to get him to testify during the trial. He's a renegade, Juan. No one on that ship will listen to him. We have to try. The more witnesses and accounts we have, the more likely that people will put two and two together. Unless Jack has us hanged for... First, relax. If I play it right and accuse him publicly, he wouldn't dare touch me. And I won't let him touch you. But I need you to meet that renegade. I have to stay put so Matt doesn't get suspicious. Find the guy and bring him in. I'll prepare to trigger a mutiny. Jack likes law and order. Let's give him a highly public trial and have him hang for his crimes. Ugh. <gasps> 
Hello? We want the church is empty. Hey then. Long time no see. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Where is everyone? Renegades were supposed to be here. Along with the officer you came to kill. Lucky bastard. Apparently Williams ordered evacuations of some outposts. Well, apparently? Well, who sent you here then? Waltz? Waltz isn't privy to Williams' directives. You're asking too many questions, Aiden. There will be hell to pay if you keep it up. Eh, yeah, fuck you, Hakon. I'm not here because of you. You're still on Waltz's leash, I see. Enough chit-chat, Aiden. Give me the key. <laughs> what? The GRE key, Aiden. Give it to me. I don't want to fight with you, Hakon. Pity. I don't care what you want. We were a team. Yeah. Things could have been different between us. But you fucked it up at the bazaar. You left me to die. Get that fucking key from him!
Make quite a name for yourself in this shit hole. Is that what you wanted? Are you really ready to kill me for that key, Hakon? Well, so many people have died already. You can't stop the wheel from turning now. But well, you had a chance to kill me. To take it from me at the bazaar. What changed? Well, what do you think, kid? You promised to get me out of the city. We had a deal. But then you ratted me out. And you think Waltz will just let you go, just like that? You know what he did to Dylan. To all the others. Yeah, but they all stood in his way. Dylan betrayed him. Lucas wouldn't give up the key. So? So you murdered him. The key is my pass out of the city. <sighs> Real fucking shame I have to kill you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hakan! You can't get away! Maybe. But you don't want to see me. I ain't as pretty as before. We've both seen your biomarker. You're not gonna find me in time! people have you betrayed, Hakon? Killian? Frank? Luan? Why did you betray her? Frank told you about the TV station. Told you I chickened out, right? Well, he's wrong about that. It was a suicide mission. And Luan, why did you leave her? What? How do you know about that? Just answer the question. I made a deal with the devil, and she had her own hell to deal with. What are you talking about? I left to protect her, 
If I'd stayed, Walt would have had her killed. So why did you work with him? Why did you betray Frank? I didn't! I didn't betray Frank. I was trying to fix things. After the TV station, I was planning to spy on Waltz, but he got suspicious, threatened to kill Lawan. And now it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> One of you I'm sorry, Hakon. I didn't want this. It won. The Renegade officers. They're gone. Apparently they got an order to pull out. How do you know about this? From Hakon, an old friend who worked with the Renegades. But he's dead. All right. Find Veronica Ryan, Aiden. I'll prepare the trial Matt deserves. Peacekeeper officers are already rebelling against an attack on the dam. The revolution starts, Aiden. Thanks to you.
I'm taking that key, Aiden. Stop, Hakon. You're in no condition to fight. Uh, we'll soon find out, won't we? Hakon, talk to me. This doesn't make sense. What's really going on here? Frank told me how you broke with the Night Runners. Every day since, I've wondered. Would things have ended differently if I'd been there? Would my friends be alive? I know I can't bring anyone back. But I did make a vow. I'd prove myself to Frank and Lawan. I don't want to fight you anymore, Hakon. And I told you, I don't give a fuck what you want anymore. You're a lost cause, Hakon. End of the line for you, kid. I'm taking that key. Wanted. After all this time hunting him, he's finally dead. Thought I'd be looking him straight in the eye before I put a bolt through it. But now, <sighs> he's just another body on the ground and a name checked off my list. Are you okay, Luan? I can't even begin to know how to feel about this. He seems so vulnerable now. Can I help you with anything, or...? No, it's okay. I've just... waited so long for this to end, and now... <sighs> I need to be alone for a while. I've been worried. Long story short, Hakon wasn't quite as dead as I thought when we last spoke. You okay? Well, sorry. Listen, I've been having some conversations. Seems I'll have several witnesses to Jack's war crimes. I'll prepare for a trial. Go! See Veronica. I'll let you know when we're ready.
Butcher's men are high on some weird kind of drug. <clears throat> Sophie? Who did this? You. <gasps> you. And the peacekeepers. Your friends. They attacked the bazaar. Most of us died trying to protect it. I told you. I told you they were murderers. All their empty claims of wanting peace. And look. Look what they've done to the bazaar. My home. Does this look like peace, Aiden? So many years of work. So many years of fighting. Why did you even come here? I'm looking for Dr. Veronica Ryan. Well, then you're a lucky son of a bitch. She survived. Where is she now? Why would I tell you? Sophie, I didn't start this war. I was trying to warn you. You know what? Okay. That bitch Ryan used to help the PK. Said they're people just like us, and they're not. Whatever you want from her, we'll probably get her killed anyway knowing you. Which is good. I wish that for her. And as far as I know, there are also some renegades trying to take her out. Last I heard, she was hiding in a building north of Quarry End. Courtesan Rove Street. Thank you. Get out of my sight. You miserable wretch. I'm sorry, Mother. So much work. So much futile work.
First, the renegades, and now you. Hey, relax. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm a friend. Where's Veronica? Why do you want to know? Because I need her help, and it seems she may need mine as well. Is she okay? She managed to escape. I need to find her. Do you know where she is now? No, but we can try to contact her. Veronica? Veronica? Are you safe? Veronica? <sighs> Shit. Something's not right. Yes. I'm safe. Are you? Oh, I am now. There is someone who needs to speak to you. Yeah, Dr. Ryan? I'm Aiden. I know that you're being hunted by the renegades. Hurry, Aiden. More renegades may be here any minute. Juan Rainer. He told me you worked for the GRE. I need access to the GRE database in the observatory. I, I have a GRE key. A GRE access key? That's what I've been told. You think you can... Let's meet. I'll be in a small building near the dam, not far from the observatory. Okay, I'll go... Wait, hello? Be careful, Aiden. The place is soaked in chemicals. I will. Thanks for the heads up, Vincenzo. Well, it seems that despite everything, you saved my life. Farewell, Aiden. Farewell.
You helped the peacekeepers. Yes, but only to get here, really. Ator. He was trying to do something good in Old Villador. But the hatred between the Bazaar and PK grew too strong. It became a powder keg. And those renegades, why are they after you? Probably the same reason as you. To access the GRE database. What do you want from it, Aiden? Why are you risking so much? I'm looking for my sister. Your sister was in the GRE? She... No, she was a prisoner. I haven't seen her in 15 years. A prisoner? You mean a test subject? I don't know what I'll find. She's... She's the only family I've got. The only answer to what Waltz has done to us. Waltz? He held us there. Had a hobby of experimenting on kids. Did you know about that? I was only a mid-level doctor, Aiden. I'm sorry. Want to know anything else? Or can we go? How are you planning to get us inside the observatory? Look, there's a security tunnel into the complex. It was locked up years ago. Give me the key, Aiden. Are you sure the key is functional? Well, it has been. Maybe the problem is that the building has no electricity. Is there any other way to get in there? It depends how much we're prepared to risk. A lot, if you ask me. Okay. Then come with me. I have something to show you.
See those domes? Sure, but the place is flooded with chemicals. The GRE had a solution for that. When they created the THV Gen Mod, they had to protect their employees from exposure. But the THV what? The chemicals. They came up with blockers. Shots that would shield their workers for a few minutes from the fumes. Fortunately, I still have two doses. Had a feeling they'd come in handy one day. Oh, those must be worth a pretty penny. They are extremely rare. For now, we will need only one for you. So let's do this. When you get there, first restore the power. Then I'll be able to join you. Hold out your arm. Remember, the shot shields you from the chemicals for a limited time only. Can't I take the other one too? No, not at the same time. The stuff's too strong. Go as fast as you can to the smaller dome, and from there to the higher one. You should find a door leading inside. There. You'll be safe. Then head to the B block. There you should find the building's main circuit breaker. As soon as you turn on the electricity, the security door will unlock, and I can join you by going through the tunnel I showed you. Now go. The blocker is working. Aiden, I wasn't kidding about that limited <coughs> The blocker is working. Veronica, I made it through the chemicals to the first dome. Great. Now just get to the second one. Find a door, a hatch, or whatever leads underground. Right. Veronica, found the entrance. So far, so good. But how do you know this place so well, by the way? I was here just once, long ago. But I have a good memory. That sounds useful. Well, sometimes it's a curse. Really. Veronica, I have a horde of infected here. Shit. I hoped it would be empty by now. Well, it isn't. I don't know if I could get through. Use the UV flashlight on your belt. That should keep them at bay. Just don't stop, Aiden.
I made it. The electricity's on. Great. The security tunnel is open. I'll try to take the elevator down to you. They deserve respect. I see. I think it blew a fuse. Check it. Do something. Quick. Please. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Please. Don't leave me here. Don't be afraid. I just need a moment. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Power's back. You all right? <sighs> Veronica, I'll meet you by the elevators. See? Told you everything would work out. Just get in. You always been claustrophobic? Seriously? For over ten years. So what happened then? Aiden, for God's sake, can we not talk about this right now? The, the database, where is it? Just give me a moment. Below us. Even farther than this? Another six floors down. This is... Uh, pretty high-tech. Before the GRE, this complex was run by the military. They used it to monitor threats, rocket attacks, that sort of thing. That's why they called it the Observatory. Then the virus came, and that was the end. That's quite the story. They used to call places like this witnesses to history. Great. Dark again. Wait. I'll try and figure something out.
If we have electricity here, we could use it to power up the whole floor. It's a tight fit in here. Get the electricity going. I'm not a fan of the dark, remember? Veronica, how you holding up? Just want to get to that database and get out of here. You're doing great. Just talk to me. Why are you really helping me? You're taking quite a risk. I promised I'd help you, right? Okay, I get it. Just hold tight. I'll get there as fast as I can. Smart move. Rerouting the circuit. Yeah. Saved my life a few times. Veronica? Should we get going? Yes. Let's get this over with and then get out of here. This way. The main computer is there. You'll finally know what happened to your sister. She's all I have. What about your parents? I don't remember them. Just her. We... <laughs> we were a good team. Without her, it's like, uh... God, I don't know. You don't know what? Well... I don't really know who I am. We're all different people than we were 15 years ago. We all got... lost. Locked again. What now? The terminal is inactive. The security system isolated this area. Uh, I guess I'm up. I've got an idea. Try to find the officer's room. There's a security desk. We could try to operate the door locks from there. You should be able to use your GRE key on it. You sure know a lot about this building. Please, just insert the key and select Emergency Unlock on the screen. I'll explain everything to you when we're done. It worked. 
Yeah, but we may have another problem. I'm stuck here. I need to find a way out. Can I help you somehow? I don't think so. Just stay where you are. Veronica Ryan, Director, Field Laboratories Department. A mid-level GRE doctor, my ass. Seems to be Veronica's office. You weren't honest with me, Veronica. Who's that boy? Maybe her son? Aiden. A funny thing. Seems there was another Veronica Ryan. Director, Field Labs Department. I was going to tell you. Why are you helping me? Are you working with Waltz? Waltz? No, never. Even back then, I didn't. Waltz had his own research team. But you knew about the experiments, how they used kids. <laughs> me and my sister. That's why I'm here, Aiden. I... I cannot forget what we did here. That we let you down. All those kids in pain and no cure to show for it. Cure? We were five, for fuck's sake. Small children showed natural immunity to the virus. We saw a correlation between age, brain development, and infection severity. That's why they were experimenting on you. The GRE, the world, needed you. You seemed our only hope. I'm sorry. So, were you involved in those experiments? No. The tests on children were all performed at a laboratory. Here we were gathering data and compiling research. I was here when it all happened. Team members began to turn, and things quickly spiraled out of control. One by one. We were locked inside, hiding, sneaking around through those dark corridors and ventilation shafts. My son, he was here with me. Paul, he was five back then too. Let's go, we've got things to do. Yeah, let's go. you find what you've been looking for. All the GRE's data is in there, Aiden. What's up? Damn it, I don't know. We'll try it again. It's stuck. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll go. No, wait. <clears throat> I'm done waiting. It's time for answers. Oh, 
Veronica, what's, what's going on? Talk to me, Veronica. Are you okay? It looks like we tripped in a lot. Decontamination procedure. Uh, decontamination procedure? That can't be good. It's not. Chemical decontamination's deadly. But, but how do we stop it? I don't know. Veronica? Veronica! You remain calm. Veronica? I, I can't stop it. <laughs> Do something! I'm thinking. So think faster. Blockers. I still have one. You have to find one for yourself. Uh, any idea where to look? The control room. Maybe they kept some there. Go! Find the, the control room. Decontamination procedure ready to begin. Aiden? Aiden, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I used the blocker. <clears throat> Thank God. I think we're safe now. That's good to hear. Ready to plug in? Are you serious? Yeah, do it. Cross your fingers, Aiden. The moment of truth. Damn, it's broken. Oh, no, you shitting me? Yeah, I am. It's just an old system. Wait, give me the key. Granted. There is a list of patients and personnel. Who do you want to check first? Waltz. Checking. One record. Clinical studies. Substance 1354. Study abandoned. All patients discharged from the center. Look through all the names. Uh, patient discharged. Were all of them? Yes. Damn it. No info on where they ended up. Or about this substance. Uh, 1354 or something? I'm sorry, Aiden. I will check my name, Aiden. Aiden. There's one record among the youngest children. Year 2020. Aiden Caldwell? Is that your surname? Well, it is now. What does it say? Data classified. Only one note. Warning. Patient shows an above average tolerance to the substance. Most tests performed. Exemplary results. Aiden, you all right? Yes, I think so. Is there anything else? No. That's all. Search for Mia. Is that your sister? Yes. Nothing. Impossible. She was there, with me. <sighs> I'm searching. Sorry, Aiden. Records show no patients named Mia. God! It's impossible.
There's more. The substance was also tested on some infected at GRE facilities across the city. To no avail. The project was run and supervised from X-13. It was eventually shut down, as was X-13 itself. Is there anything more about this X-13? In here? I doubt it. But I heard about it. X-13 was a hub of GRE operations. And the substance, you know what it is? There were so many tests and clinical studies, Aiden. Let me search the database for the research data. Something's wrong. What do you mean? It says a procedure's been initiated. Another procedure? I'm looking... Lots of data. Started, then paused... 11 years ago. Resumed a few days ago in X-10. There's also a map. <laughs> Several locations are marked, including the observatory. What the hell does it all mean? I have no idea, but... Intruder alert. Intruder alert. In infected? They must be here somewhere. The renegades. They must have followed us. There's no time. Hurry, take the key, hide yourself somewhere, and lock yourself in. I'll deal with them. Aiden, we don't know how many there are. I'll handle it. I have bad news. These locations on the GRE system, they appear to be targets. Targets for missile strikes. Missile strikes? What are you talking about? The failsafe protocol. We don't have much time. Listen, this marks Riverend and Garrison. That's in the central loop. People live there. You have to warn Frank. Okay. Okay, I will. If Frank... Frank, your neighborhood is marked on some tactical map. You have to tell people to evacuate. No time to explain. Just clear everyone out of there, Frank. How can I warn them? I got no way to send out an emergency broadcast. I'll try to reach as many as possible. Oh, shit. Open the fuck up! Just wait here. I'll try to get through to them from above and take them out. You're safe here. You want an autograph?
Veronica, I think it's safe now, but we have to get going. Veronica? <gasps> Veronica? You there? Veronica, talk to me. I had to get out, Aiden. I'm sorry. I felt trapped in there. Okay, where are you? I headed towards the elevators. I... Veronica? What's happening? Someone's here, Aiden. Oh, no. No, no, no! Veronica! She was here. That's her radio. Find her. You heard the fire. Veronica, talk to me. Hang on, Veronica. I'm coming. Veronica, get away! Give me the fucking key! Give it to me! Just run, I'll stop him. Why do you need this key, fucker? What have you done with me? My sister. She's long gone. No. I'll 
kill you! Should have died years ago. Aiden, hold on. You'll be okay. Just hold on. Aiden. It's okay, Aiden. It's okay. Aiden! Aiden, where are you? Aiden! 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 Hey, I got a signal here. Hurry! Under that rubble! He's here! <laughs> Luan. <laughs> Fuck, Aiden, you're heavy. <sighs> Almost there. Just hold on. Hold on. <sighs> 